good to be with you at this time. I want to share some thoughts about the word remember and remembrance and mem memory. As we look in the Bible, we find that in the concordance, the words remember, remembered and remembrance are found 95 times. For example, in Ecclesiastes 12 verse 1, we find these words. Remember your creator in the years of your youth. And in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 19, Jesus says, Do this in remembrance of me, when referring to the Last Supper. And in Luke, chapter 23, verse 42, we find the criminal on the cross saying to Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Memory and the recall of events in our life have been important during the lockdown and in the shielding because it has enabled us to root ourselves in the reality of life. And even though we've been shut in, we have been able to recall good and positive events, as well as some painful events. But remembering and our memory develop as a vital part of our personality, our intellect and our interpersonal skills. Sadly, as people grow old or as a result of illness or injury, memory may begin to fail. And when that happens, our sense of identity and our ability to relate to others becomes impaired, if not impossible. In our faith journey, we remember important events, such as baptism, confirmation, marriage, birth of children or other family members. And also, it is important that we remember those who have gone before us, those who've died. And this has been a particularly sensitive memory during the COVID pandemic, when people may have lost loved ones or their loved ones are changed beyond recognition because of the effect of the virus on their body. In our Christian walk, the use of important festivals plays a part in the reinforcement of our faith. And for most Christians, the three most important are Christmas, when we remember the coming of Christ into the world, Easter, with his death and resurrection, and Whitson, when the promise of the Holy Spirit becomes a reality in the hearts and minds of the disciples at Pentecost. Along with many other communities in this country and others, Whitson is a time 
when walks of witness take place. When I was growing up in Manchester in the 40s, 50s and early 60s, the walks of witness in our parish and community were very important in reinforcing and witnessing to the faith that we have in Christ. For families with one or two or even lots of children, mothers used to save up in clothing clubs week by week. So as Whitson neared, they were able to buy items of new clothing for their children. Often a new dress or a white dress for the girls, for the boys a white shirt, a tie and for both other items of new clothing such as shoes and socks. If they couldn't afford new ones, often passed down clothes were washed, cleaned and ironed. So on Whit Sunday and Whit Monday, people and children would present themselves as clean and tidy reflecting that the coming of the Holy Spirit brought new life and a sense of purity into the community. And so on the Sunday, on Whit Sunday, churches would parade their members and congregations would parade around the local community there would be a band leading the parade and a large banner representing the church, its name, possibly its saint, where that applied. And young children would hold ribbons whilst men would carry these heavy banners. And there used to be singing and prayers. And along the footpaths, would be crowds of people cheering, clapping and even joining in the singing. And on Whit Monday, if your church was within a mile or a mile and a half of the centre of Manchester, you would be parade down into the centre of Manchester to Albert Square outside the town hall. And again, you would be greeted as you walked by the crowds witnessing the walk. In Albert Square, there would be hymns and prayers. And then there would be socialising amongst people from the different communities. And the number would amount to thousands reenacting what happened on the day of Pentecost, when the Spirit came for the first time. Then the groups would reform and they would walk past the cathedral and be acknowledged by the bishop on a dais. For Christine and I, when we were training as nurses, as members of the Nurses Christian Fellowship, we would join in the walks in our uniform and would be joined by nurses from different hospitals in and around Manchester. For our Catholic friends, their walk would be on the Friday after Easter Monday and then they would parade past the bishop, the Catholic bishop, at Salford Cathedral. And so that's one illustration of a festival that reinforced our faith and the opportunity to witness to it. As we move from the lockdown, and people begin to redevelop their working and their social lives. We remember those who've been left with various difficulties 
and for those who have lost loved ones. And for those who are still shielding, we ask that the presence of God will uphold them and protect them in and through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.